welcome to this presentation today we are going to see about the unicast routing protocols and there are three categories of unicast routing protocols called rip that is routing information protocol which is ba which is based on the distance vector algorithm and next is uh, ospf that is open shortest path first algorithm which is based on link state algorithm and third protocol is border gateway protocol based on path vector algorithm now let's try to move on to rip that is routing information protocol rip is an intra domain routing protocol used inside an autonomous system it is a very simple protocol based on distance vector routing rip implements distance vector routing directly with uh, some considerations uh, in an autonomous system you are dealing with the routers and networks that is links and the routers have routing tables and networks do not and the destination in a routing table is a network which means that the first column defines a network address the matrix used by rip is very simple and the distance is defined as the number of links to reach the destination so for this reason the metric in rip is called a hop count infinity is defined as 16 which means that any route in an autonomous system using rip cannot have more than 15 hops the next node column defines the address of the router to which the packet is to sent to reach its destination so the autonomous system with uh, you can see with several seven networks and four routers and the table of each router can be written now let us now look at the routing table for r1 the table has seven entries to show how to reach each network in an autonomous system router r1 is directly connected to networks uh, that is uh, 130.10.0.0 and 130.11.0.0 which means that there are no next hop entries for these networks to send a packet to one of the three networks at the far left router r1 needs to deliver the packet to r2 and the next node entry for these three networks is the interface of r2 with ip address 130.10.0.1 to send a packet to the networks at the far right the router r1 needs to send a packet to the interface of router r2 with an ip address of 130.11.01 so we can also we can also uh, simply simply record those things right although the distance vector algorithm we discussed in the previous module is uh, concerned with exchanging distance vectors between different neighboring nodes the routers in an autonomous system need to keep forwarding tables to forward packets to their destination so a forwarding table in rip and uh, as an is the three column table in which the first column is the address of the destination network and the second column is the uh it is the second column shows the <coughs> address of the next router to which the packet should be forwarded and the third column is the cost to reach the destination network okay now let's move on to uh, ospf and the open shortest path the first algorithm protocol is an intra domain routing protocol based on link state routing its domain is also an autonomous system okay and the osp protocol allows the administrator to assign cost called the matrix to each route the metric can be based on the type of service uh, minimum delay maximum throughput and so on so as a matter of fact uh, router can have multiple routing tables each based on the different types of services and ospf terminology a connection is called link four types of links have been defined for example point to point multi point and uh, stub and virtual okay and um, now let's see the each one by one as i said earlier in the previous models a point to point link connects two routers um, uh, without any other cost or router in between in other words the purpose of the link is just to connect the two routers so an example of this type of link is uh, two routers connected by a telephone line a t line and there is no need to assign a network address to this type of link graphically the routers are represented by nodes and the link is represented by a bidirectional edge connecting the nodes the matrices uh, which are usually the same are uh, shown at the two ends one for each direction so each router has only one neighbor at the other side of the link and the transient link is a network with several routers attached to it 
the data can enter through any of the routers and leave through any router all lands and some bands with uh, two or more routers are of this type only and uh, to show how e that each router is connected to every other router through one single network the network itself is represented by a node and however because a network is not a machine it cannot function as a router one of the router in the network takes this responsibility and it is assigned a dual purpose it is a true counter and a designated router and we can use this topology to show the connections of the transient networks now each router has only one neighbor and uh, the designated router on the other hand the designated router has five neighbors we see that the number of uh, neighbor announcement is reduced to 20 to 10 now still the link is represented as a bidirectional edge between the nodes however while there is a metric uh, from each node to designated router there is no metric from the designated router to any other node the reason is that the designated router represents the network we can only assign a cost to a pocket that is passing through a network we cannot charge for this twice when a packet enters the network we assign a cost when a packet leaves the network to go to the router there is no charge so a stub link is a network that is connected to only one router the data packets enter the network through this single router and leave the network through the same router so this is the special case of the transit network and we can now show the situation using a router as a node and using the designated router for the network however the link is only one directional that is from the router to the network when the link between the two routers is broken the administration may create a virtual link between them using a longer path that probably goes through several routers now let's move on to graphical representation let's now imagine or examine how an AS is can be represented graphically uh, a small uh, AS with seven networks and six routers we can uh, take as an example and as two of the networks or point to point networks and uh, we can use symbols n1 and n2 for transient and stub networks and there is no need to assign an identity to point to point network and we have used square nodes for the routers and vowels for the networks the ospf sees the both as nodes and we have three stub networks right and the forwarding table each ospf router can create a forwarding table after finding the shortest path tree between itself and destination using dixter algorithm and uh, compound with the uh, rip which is normally used in small as ospf was designed to be able to handle routing in a small or large autonomous system the formation of uh, shortest path trees in ospf requires that all the routers flood the whole as with the uh, with their lsps to create a global lsdb link state database right <coughs> although this may not create a problem in small as uh, it may have created a huge volume of traffic in large AS. So to prevent this, the AS needs to be divided into small sections called areas. And each area acts as a small interdependent domain for flooding LSP. In other words, you can say OSPF uses another level of hierarchy in routing. The first level is the autonomous system and the second is the area. Right. So this diagram shows the forwarding tables of uh, in OSPF. It shows that for a uh, destination network N1, the, it has a cost value of uh, 4. This is the first one is the forwarding table for R1. And to reach N2, it has to move to uh, with a cost value of 5. For N3, the next router will be R2 and the cost will be 8. Similarly, you can see the forwarding table for R2 and R3 also. However, each router in an area network needs to know the information about the link uh, link states not only in, uh, in its area but on the other, also in the other area. So, for this reason, one of the areas in the AS is designated as the backbone area. So, it which is responsible for giving the area together or gluing the area together. 
and the routers in the backbone area are responsible for passing the information collected by each area to all other area in this way a router in an area can receive an lsp generated in other areas also so for this purpose of communication each area has an area identification <coughs> the area identification of the backbone is zero so now let's see the autonomous system and its areas this diagram shows the <coughs> areas in the autonomous system and the uh, ospf is based on the link state routing algorithm which requires that uh, router advertise the state of each link to all neighbors for the formulation of lsdb and we use the graph theory and assume that each router is a node and each network between two routers is an edge the situation is different here in the real world <coughs> in which we need to advertise the existence of the different uh, entities of us nodes and the different types of links that connect to each node to its neighbor and the different types of cast associated with each link and this means uh, we that we need different types of advertisement each capable of advertising different situations so we can have five types of link state advertisements one is router link network link summary link to network and summary link to as uh, border route and external link so this diagram shows the different types of uh, lsps okay so a router link advertises the existence of a router as a node in addition to giving address of the announcing router this type of advertisement can define one or more types of links that connect the advertising router to other entities a transient link announces a link to a transient network a network that is connected to the rest of the networks by one or more routers and this type of advertisement should define the address of the transient network and the cost of the link a sub link advertises a link to a sub network and a network that is not uh, at the through network so again the advertisement should define the address of the network and the cost a point to point link should define the address of the router at the end of the point to point and cost to get that in the next category is network link a network link uh, advertises the network as a node however since the network uh, cannot do announcement itself because it is a positive entity one of the router is assigned as the designated router and does the advertising so in addition to the address of the designated router this type of lsp announces the ip address of all routers that is including the designated router as a router and not as a speaker of the end network so but no cost is advertised because each router announces the cost to the network when it sends a router link advertisement thank you